Good morning. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. Welcome to your regular program, our regular program, where the comrades from the uh, coastal region of Biafra land discuss, sit down to discuss what affects us as a people, where we come out to analyze events and political events as it goes on in Biafra land, particularly coastal region of Biafra land. With me today are the comrades from the coastal region of Biafra land. And I want to encourage you viewers, as you join us, please do share this program. Help us share it so that the message can get to those who it's meant for and to everyone on earth will be notified of what is going on in Biafra land, particularly in the coastal region of Biafra land. Where today they call South South, or if they are confused, they call it Ninja Delta, or they say the Delta Igbos. So we are going today to talk about a number of things. Our topic is right there on the screen. As you can see, we are going to talk about the Niger Delta and South-South issues. And we are going to talk about Biafra restoration uh, as championed by IBOB, led by Mazen and the Kano. This will be the center of our discussion today. So we encourage you as you join us, please kindly do us a favor by sharing this program to every platform that you feel necessary that demand that needs to hear our voice today. So I want to I want to before we continue call on our brother on Ajite to give us a, a the Biafran item so that we proceed with that so that we encourage ourselves with that please. Thank you. Biafra, oh hey Biafra, yeah, that was the sound of, the, of the Biafra item, a, a sweet melody that reminds us that this struggle must never be abandoned. Thank you, Anajite, for that wonderful uh, reading. Yes, before we continue, I would like us, because we Biafrans are children of the Most High, Creator of heaven and earth. This is why we bear his name. 
This is why our names exalt the name of the Creator. So we are going to give a brief opening prayer before we proceed. I want to call on one of the comrades, uh, I, son of IBOB, to please lead us in a brief prayer uh, before we proceed. Thank you. Oh, he be from Uchineke. Why, Heavenly Father, okay, Kabiama, we ask for your grace this day to be with us for the restoration oh, of sorry. our. Right on, right on. Yeah, I think um, you are having some issues with your network there, and we can only hear noise from here. I don't know where you really are. Okay, uh, you can manage that. okay, uh, it is my fan. Let me it, it is my fan. Let me off it. Okay, okay. Sorry, it is my fan. Thank you. Oh hey, Bia from Ochineke, our heavenly father Chuko Kika Abiyama, we present our 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 life into your hands and we ask for your grace. To strengthen us, strengthen our leader, Mazina, the candle, the greatest leader of all time. Father, Lord, we ask for your grace. We, the disciple of IPOB, we should be in the path of righteousness. Father, we pray thee, O oh Lord, to be with us, guide us throughout the struggle to restore the sovereignty state of Biafra. Father, Lord, we ask, O oh Lord, for you to be with us. Make sure that this our nation, Biafra, is being restored. Father, we pray, O oh D, O oh Lord, that our leader, you will guide him all his days of his life. Father, O oh Lord, we ask all our program this, this evening, Lord, we put it into your book here, your hands, Lord. God and protect in the mighty name of Jesus. We, the IPOB worldwide across the globe, Father, we commit our life, our soul into your able hands. It is you that give life, that take it. Father, we are the disciple. As the Judah and as the uh, Peter, John, and the rest, the disciple of Jesus, you are, we are the disciple of. Your son, Mazina Bikano, the greatest leader of all time. A man who see tomorrow, a man who know what I want, who know what everybody wants, a man who is fighting for our freedom to be restored. Father, guide us and protect us in the mighty name of Jesus. Biafra shall be restored in our time in the mighty name of Jesus. Our people Amen. back home, we shall all rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It is well. Peace. Thank you. Thank you very much, Don of IBOB, for, uh, for this prayer. Thank you. Yes, before we continue, I would also want us to introduce ourselves. Maybe today might be the first day some people are seeing us, so we need to introduce ourselves so that all those who are watching us, we know where we are coming from and know who we are. So I will start by introducing myself as the moderator of this, uh, or host of this program today. My name is Olise Donald. Olise Donald is from Anyoma region, precisely in the nation in Anyoma region of Biafra land, where today uh, Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida decided to call Delta State uh, through the gerrymandering. When our leader used the word gerrymandering, he meant actually that uh, the sharing of boundaries to suit the colonial states called Nigeria. So during that time, they decide to call us Delta states. And sometimes when they are confused, they say we are minorities in the South-South. When they want to deceive themselves, they say we are Niger Delta. So today, I am one of those who Nigeria wants to be known and called the Niger Deltans or the South Saturners, the South Saturners, as they call them, which is something that is not actually in the equator. Uh, so, but if uh, that is the way through their gerrymandering, which is sharing of boundary, they decide to call us, that is not our name. We want to use this program to first of all, make the world understand that uh, strangers cannot tell us who we are, just like strangers came and called that uh, geographical entity, Nigeria. Nobody will be allowed to come and tell us who we are. We will tell you who we are. 
I am Ulisse Donald. Ulisse Donald is from Ndokwa. Ndokwa is Nanyoma region of Biafra land. Oh, here Biafra. So I, I will go to our brother, uh, who is first there uh, to, to give us, uh, his, to introduce himself. Thank you. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra, Muchineke. My name still remains Solomon Asimba. I am a Biafran. I am a Biafran from both Agbo and that of Edo State. I'm the Edo State Igbake Biafran. And from Agbo, I am from Woibu. So we are from the coastal region. We speak Igbo. So many people know me, but for those that does not know me, we are a Biafran because nobody can take our identity for us. We are the people that our leader was talking about in his recent remark. So we are the Biafran. Thank you and God bless you. Oh, hey, Biafra, Muchineke. My name remains Igudu, son of IPOB. I'm from Igudu, but preside the present day called Uromi. Yes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We are Biafrans. Nobody can take what belongs to us. We are the, we are, we are, we are from, we are the genesis of the land. Oh, hey, Biafra, Muchineke. Oh, hey, Biafra. Yeah, all oh, hey Biafra. Isoko Wadu. Hey. Uh -huh. My name is uh, Idudu Uvimuno. I'm an Isoko speaking Biafran. You know, as far as it remains Wazobia, we fall under Wazobia and we are under Bia. That is uh, Biafra. And uh, for those that did not know, during the previous uh, genocidal war that was, you know, carried upon us by the British, the the, the 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 French the the Russians and Egypt and the rest of the people that gather to genocide our people the kill our people in mass you know Ibrede which happened to be an Isoko community was one of the you know Biafra army base in Isoko land so when I see people talking that uh, Isoko are not Biafra I just laugh and shake my head in fact Ibrede was where the Biafra army were selling bonvita and bread to people so that you don't buy more than what you can eat so that they can reach everybody. In due time, we'll get into all those details as we proceed. Thank you very much. All here, Biafra. Thank you. Good to have you. Good to have you. Thank you. All here, Biafra. Um, thank you very much, uh, fellow comrades. And those of you who have been here with us, I I, I greet everyone of us. And uh, my name remains on Ajite Higo. And um, you know, so uh, I oh, actually have an his own name, uh, but um, someday, some way, somehow, I'm going to release that, which my mother gave to me. And Aizon Urubuado, different, and um, nothing, nothing on earth can change that identity. My father was a, is a Biafra because my father is somebody who is, you know, far older than um, the so called Nigeria we are talking, and he's still alive. He is a Biafra, or a Biafra. Oh, a Biafra, Mochineke. Oh, a Biafra. You see, uh, thank you very much, my fellow comrades, for this wonderful introduction. Many people will say, uh, where the South South, then where did they struggle? Uh, most of them have been killed. Most of them are arrested. Some of them cannot come on the media. But here we are on the media telling the world who we are. Because it seems to me that the current issue on this course is about whether or not Biafra belongs to Igbo people. That will make me to introduce our topic. Uh, our topic this afternoon is talking about the Ninja Delta South-South Biafra Restoration Struggle championed by IBOB as led and amiably led by our leader Mazen and the Kano. So we are going to look at this issue of Ninja Delta and South-South. Without going to give you, I'm not going to give you an historical account of how the name Ninja Delta came up or the name South-South. 
I will just be brief by saying that these were as a result of administrative convenience for the colonialists. They gave, they gave these names for administrative convenience, starting from when they called us protectorates. You know, there was a time the British uh, 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 soldiers who were uh, on duty to go and stop slave trade uh, after they realized that it was inhuman to trade in humans. Uh, they also met with their company, the Nuria Nanja company, which was operating in Nigeria. And what happened there is now history and now is now what has baited the zoo called Nigeria as a colonial entity. Today, it has been administered by those the colonial masters chose to administer it for them because both all of us knows that we will not give birth to a child even when we give it out for somebody to take care of, the child remains ours. So the colonialists who created Nigeria are still in what they call neocolonialism, controlling Nigeria. It's just that this time around, they come in the guise of democracy and they tell you to vote so that you can legitimize the contraption. But today, they have decided to give people names and cling to it. I'm going to make reference to one of the one important person, which is our leader, the Mazinan Dekan, one of the statements he made when he said that if he is compared to go with uh, five Eastern states as they are trying to Igbonize Biafra, uh, what will happen to other Igbo nations, uh, Igbo nationalities, or should I call them Biafrans, who are in the so called Ninja Delta and South South? Now, this is the issue. Uh, you know, as you all know, IBOB is uh, fighting to restore the Biafra our fathers fought uh, to sustain. IBOB now caught across uh, a lot. Is, I mean, IBOB is instituted in a lot of countries in the world, more than 100 countries in the world. And then in the zoo called Nigeria, IBOB is not only in the place they call South, South and Southeast, but it's also, IBOB also have families across the zoo called Nigeria, both in the West, both in the North. Now, this explains to anybody who cares to listen that the today IBOB is nothing they have seen before. This is why our leader would, uh, uh, would say with every atom of confidence when he uses the word, when he says that the, IB, the Biafran today that he leads under the name IBOB is like nothing that has happened before and it will be like nothing that will happen, that nothing will be like it again, ever again. This is because it cuts it, it, it cuts across, it was accepted the moment Nandikano started preaching that let us restore Biafra, oh Biafrans. If you know you are a Biafran, if you know that you are a Biafran, no, it did not say if they told you you are a Biafran. If you know that you are a Biafran, this is the time to restore Biafra because this is the only thing that will save us as a people. And this is why most of us here who are from the coastal region understand that message and joined the struggle called uh, Biafra Restoration Struggle through uh, uh, Indigenous People of Biafra, IBOB, because we are all Indigenous People of Biafra. Nobody asked us to do that. I, as an Okwane man, nobody asked me to do that. I knew that I was a, I'm a Biafra. And in fact, that my community played a major role through General, uh, uh, Brigadier General Labisama, whom Philip F. Young handed over the peace flag to that stopped the, the genocide in our land. He's from Ndokwa. So uh, my community played a major role in Biafra. If that is the only thing, not minding or, or not forgetting all those who were killed, all the markets that were bombed in our place, not by Biafran uh, soldiers as alleged, but by the Nigerian troops. All the killing and raping of women in our place in 1967 that we read about. Because most of you will say some of you were not alive when those things happened. But we read about it. We saw the evidence. Like in Ndokwan, for example, the only thing that is left that was left for Ndokwan people was a brothel. A brothel. That, that brothel was the place the Nigerian armed foot soldiers camped during the Biafran War. And today it's a brothel. It's still used as a brothel today. And then the only federal project in Ndokwa is a prison yard. No university, nothing, no, no federal college of education, nothing. No federal prison. The only federal prison is the federal prison, Squale, in the three local government that they shared us into. 
is not acceptable. That is not even forgetting the killing of our people on a daily basis by who some people that have caught foreigners, Fulanis, who are now called foreigners. So that takes us to the issue. When the, uh, the mask wearer in Asarok, when he made a statement that some youths and elders from the so-called South-South has visited him and have told him they don't want Biafra. But we in this forum, we under the guise of IBOB are telling him you are a liar. Who are those people that came to you? Name them. Who are the elders? Who are the youths? We have Biafran elders uh, council led by a Biafran from Delta State. We have the, the IBOB African rep led by a Biafran from Bayasa. So what are we talking about? Oh, hey, Biafra. So, so in, on this topic, I'm going to give uh, uh, our, so, uh, our, com our fellow comrades some minutes to also make their contribution on this topic. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. This topic oh, is a very Biafra. nice topic because um, I want to bring back history that my father gave to me. My father was among those that fought. Let me tell you what happened. During the time, 1960, when they fought, where they were fighting, do you know that the people that suffer more casualty are not the Igbo in the so-called Igbo now in the five eastern states? What happened to my father? My father was at home because he was a young boy at that time. He was at home in his village at Iru village at Abudu. That was where my father came from. He was at home cooking and he said the military, the Nigerian military came to their to to the village because those region, you know, they passed through the Ab they passed through the um Eho. They came to the to Eho and enter into the eastern region. So when they get to um the Abudu, that's what the area when the Igbos are in a do state, they start killing the Igbos from Abudu there down to Iru to Igbake. They start killing the people. So my father was very lucky at that time. He said he was at the kitchen cooking when the Niger there was no expecting it. Nigeria soldier came and surrendered their building, and when they surrendered their building. So he came out, some of his parents, some have run away when they saw them, but he was not aware. So he came out and raised his hand up and they point him with gun and other, they want to kill him. So the, some of the soldiers went inside the building to go, and, to go and see if there are other people in the building. And what my father did, my father, he now hit one of the soldiers, the one that was with him, because my father was still, he had stamina. He hit him, he looked like me, he hit him, and that one fell down and he ran into the bush. And do you know the local tree? He ran into the bush and hid in the back of the local tree. There was, he said, when they were shooting him directly, shooting him, shooting him, but so lucky that the local tree was the one that shit him. You understand? So that shit him after some days, when everywhere is calm, before he came out, they thought he's dead. And so many of his youth mates die. So if you are telling them, that oh, they should go to five instances. If these people are not be able. Is it that same people that you've suffered casualty in my mother's side in Oyibunagbo? They ran to the bush. Do you know what they did to protect themselves? They did it the other way around. They called the strong men because these are the people when they see you, you are speaking via at that time, you are going down. So now somebody is telling me that it's evil state. How is it evil state? It's not Igbo state, the so-called Igbo state. If why are there people who caught these people to this place? It's not Nigeria that caught them to are they are they are they, are they in this area they are they are in Portai Court, they are in uh um, uh Delta State, they are in Edo State. You share their court, then you divide them, and you are telling them you should take one side, you should leave his brother behind if they want to say it like that. Unfortunately, it will not work. Because they are they are minority in their own place, so they have to join their brothers together and fight the struggle. And the Buhari that is saying that the youths that have come them, they are saying they don't want Biafra. If you want to test, they say let me put it to a referendum, democracy. Let us do a, a, a referendum. You, I, we know we have some criminals, some criminal elements that is look that is begging for chicken chicken. 
that is not speaking for 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 the oppressed, for the children. You understand? Put it on a referendum. Let everybody go to the ballot box and cast their vote and say their mind freely. You will see you will lose the vote. Why you don't want to do it on a referendum? Why is he afraid of a referendum? So this is what we are saying. Biafra is for everybody, even those in the Yoruba. We have before this time now. We are talking of the Igbo speaking now. Before this time, where Ojuku was ruling, is it not the eastern region? Where did the eastern region start from? You understand? When Nigeria started in 1914, when they start doing region and region, where did the eastern region start from? We have three regions, the west, the, the, the east, and the north. So we are going to that same day. If anybody is arguing with you that uh, um, uh, these people are not um, uh, Biafra, you tell them they should go to the map of 1914. We will start from 1914. You understand? Then when we start from 1914, then we go down to 1960 again. Then we start again from 1960. So let us see the map. Then you start from the map. When you see the map, it's already settled the case. Who is a Biafra? Who is not a Biafra? And we are going home together. We shall fight. Thank you, my people. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, uh, yes, give the next person, please. So, to son of IBOB, can you give us a contribution, please? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for that. Uh, as well, you are, and um, um, Ulisa, you can. Yeah, allow him go ahead. Allow him go ahead. I just want the, the guests to speak their mind before I can pick a point that they are made. Let's go ahead, please. No, let her, no, uh, uh, what is it? Let her, on a GT, on a GT, continue, continue, no problem. I thought only I want to pass a message before. Um, I was like telling him that he uh, will pass the message now. So I, I, then he said, let us go for the first yes, time. Yes, I was going to say, thank you, Onajite. Thank you very much. Yes, I was going to say, uh, since Onajite is controlling the web, he should be able to time uh, some of us who are speaking because uh, we have another program coming up later on this same platform. So we want to make use of our time. Thank you. Uh, son of IBOB, go ahead. Thank you. Oh, you be for continuing. Uh, this division we are seeing today did not start today, did not start uh, before because uh, it is, it is, this is, this is the secret of the British. It is British who, who, who told the zoo people that this is how to conquer a nation because they conquer a lot of nations before. This is how to conquer a nation because when you conquer, you need to divide a nation that you know that they are, you know, they are in one. So that is why you, you, you are hearing today, Niger Delta, this, Urumi, uh, Esan, you have the Ibo, you have this. You know, we are one family. Like what our brother just said, uh, uh, Asigba Solomon, you know, you know, because during this war and everything, because uh, a, lo a lot happened. You know what I mean? They tried to divide those, they tried to 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 hide our identity for for us not to know who we are you know what i mean but today we thank god for our leader who came who tried to put us in order to know to for us to know where we came from and today we, with our research and asking and you know many things we have done we have we have did between ourselves we have really confirmed that our reader is a, is a, is a, is a man of he has a, is a man of the people he know what we really want you know what i mean these people have dealt with us so many years so many times so many you know but th thank god for the life of our leader who came and make us to understand where we came from oh hey biafra oh hey biafra thank you very much uh, Brother Dudu, can you give us your contribution on the topic, please? Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. First of all, I will say Isoko Wado and Isoko people, we say, hey, Isoko people, we are Biafrans. You know, they call us uh, Delta people or whatever, but we are Isoko people and we are Biafrans. Uh, Biafra is made up of, uh, you know, different ethnicity, you know, in the coastal 
and in the uh, internal, or should I say the upper land, the Igbo speaking Biafrans. And now let me make this one very right clear. What we are trying to say in essence is this. We need a referendum to determine where we belong. We need a referendum to determine where we belong. Being in Soko Manu, Urobo Manu, Ijo Manu, Ukwane Manu, Ibibio Manu, Ibo Manu. We need a referendum to determine where we are. If you tell us that we are not dear friends and we are telling you that go back to the old Eastern Mam or the old, the, yes, the old Eastern Mam during the 1960, 70, 1970, go and check the map. And if you don't agree with it, and we also, we ourselves, we did not also agree with you, then you know what we're going to do? We have to call for a referendum to know who are the majority that are going to vote for Biafra and who are going to be the, 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 the slaves that are going to vote against Biafra. What I'm trying to say in essence is this. No, no idiot from the coast. I have seen the likes of uh, Edwin Clark. I've seen the likes of, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, Oviyama Gege. And the rest of the bamboos somewhere, they, they are coming, they are not buying one after the other. And the rest of the uh, flefus in our midst. And the rest of the brain dead people who want to be slaves, even the poor people, some of the poor idiots that don't know they are left from their right. When the referendum time comes, because I'm telling you that Isoko people are Biafras. If you are not Biafran, then who are we? Tell me. Are you from Fulani? Are you a Fulani man? Okay, okay. It was British man that now made you. That now made you because you are you 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 are a man-made. I'm talking to the coastaners. So we are really very aggrieved. We the coastaners, the coastal youth, we are really very aggrieved. And I want to use this opportunity to stand to our Igbo brothers that there is no idiot, all those idiot old people who are trying to impose. Useless idiotic Buhari, the, the dead, the mask wearer, is telling the media that uh, he has you know, had a meeting with the elders and the youth of some Pandef and some Ohaneze rubbish that does not represent the people. The, 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 when you look into the Holy Book, he said that the voice of the people is the voice of God. And the majority of people are saying that we want Biafra, we want freedom. And that is God speaking. I don't know if all these all this, all this, uh, push and start politicians. After they go there, they give them money and they gather some you. They say, eh, and we are you too. You, 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 talk, you have some uh, IYDs, UEE, boo, 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 all those rubbish organizations you made everywhere. Uh, we are the organization of Mr. People Union, and that one, BBB, BB, we are your, your, this one, this one, we are Ukraine, this one, this one, this one. Rubbish organization everywhere. He represents those individuals benefiting from those organizations. He doesn't even represent the people. So, what we are trying to say, let's say that referendum will determine everybody future and our our stand not some idiot making statement there referendum shall determine it and i want to make this last re remark like i said when we first started before during the biafran war what happened in isoko land you know uh the person of police uh, you know make a, a mission of some things that happened and i will i will add to it i repeat isoko community called ibrede ibrede was was the uh, was biafra army base in isoko land that was where food was being shared to places that are being affected because the, the movement was restricted and you can't get things easily. But that was where Biafra, I mean, we're selling food, bread and bovinta. And they will make sure that it was like, they make sure that they sell it according to, you know, families. So that you will not come and buy more than what you can choose so that you can reach everybody. That was the history my father told me. And my father was also one of those people that were carrying all those, all those uh, local made bombs on their head. My father also helped Carry Biafra Amis tools as young as he was then. I think around 30 years of age of, of that time. And some bamboos from nowhere will just come and talk probably that uh, we are not Biafra. Then. No, let us wait for a referendum. We hold a referendum. We vote. And after the voting, they will not determine who are Biafrans and who are not Biafra. So we should stop running our mind on some, on some useless Nigerian gutter propaganda. So I will stop it there. All hey Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra, thank you very much. Thank you for that beautiful contribution. Please, the next person, please, uh, oh, Najite, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, but before I will uh, proceed, um, I will quickly use this opportunity to apologize to the person of um, uh, son of IPOB. Um, I think I, my, the, the, as I interrupted you, that was the reason why you, you were not flowing well. So I can see it uh, because already you have a lot to see. So it's like I really distract you. I'm very sorry for that. Of course, we must proceed. Yeah, you know, talking about um, this, um, you know, unrepent, unrepentant demons. These are demons that have seen themselves 
as people that, you know, not just tormenting our lives, but also tormenting the unborn generation. That is a painful part. And there is no light. There is not, we are not even, in, we are in a deep hole, a deep shit hole country that there is no hope for light, that we meet light at the other side of the hole. This is what um, this is what those people need to understand. They need to understand that the era of you know dictating for people, telling them how their life should look like, that era has come and it has gone. They should understand this that that era has come and it has gone. I you, you know when I see all these things, one thing that I, that I just want to say, I want to say to our Igbo people, our um, our internal brothers, that uh, because we all are Igbos, our internal brothers, I have a message for you. We know you have you have been took, taking bullet for us. You know you are stand at the gate of the of the family house, blocking the enemy not to have access to the family. And of course, we are in the park, sitting room relaxing. We know you have been paying the price. We know, we understand vividly. But I can assure you that your 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 sweat or should I say your sacrifice is not in vain. It is not in vain because you will. Uh, we I can also assure you that as soon as possible you will be hearing from our people. And of course, they have already woken up. But this there is uh, there are some issues because these are our people and we are dealing with. That very issues they're already in, uh, on board, and that is the threat that all these people were seeing before they start issuing statements. Do you think it is an ordinary eye for uh, um, do you think uh, the person of Omar Gege came out ordinary eye be speaking all those rubbish that is vomiting? No, they understand they are now feeling our heat on the grassroots, they are feeling our heat in the grassroots of the coastal region. They are feeling our heat. They are feeling the work we are putting on, 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 in, in place. So I can assure you that your sacrifice is not in vain. And I also have a message for our people who haven't yet woken up. Those of you who have been thinking that which day will this suffering end? Which day will I have access? Or which day will I have control upon my life? Which day will I have a say in, in my life, the life of my children and my unborn generation? This is the opportunity for, a, for power to change hand. This is an opportunity for power to change hand. We must make use of this opportunity in every cost. Even if it will, if it will take us all to that, if it remains one person, the person will continue. And we are Biafra. Nobody can change that. If they say we are not, it's a very simple thing. Go ask the referendum, then it is over. What we are even seeking for right now, we need a referendum to, to determine our future. Not for some greedy uh, few to determine what our future should look like. They have been determined, they, 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 they have been deciding for us for decades. What have we achieved? What is the result of their decision upon our life? What where has it taken us to? It takes us to poverty, it takes us to drinking from where you make pool, it takes us to securing our own resource for our own enemy, it takes us to become pipeline guy. Everybody, in fact, our youth have been so used there to the effort. They make us, not that we are useless, we are kind of, we are a great people, a great race. A great race. It's so is a, is a, is a race whereby you cannot just come and conquer them. We, we have this dignity, we have this pride, and nobody will, you know, they want to demoralize us, and which they have been doing for a while now. But this is the right time for every one of us to stand up and say enough is enough. We must take the bull by the arm. And we must never, for any reason, give up on this. Not today, not tomorrow. Even if they like, let them, let them keep on killing us. 
If they let let Okowa, let uh, the, 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 the likes of let them be picking us house to house, we will continue. What we ask for now is referendum. It's referendum. And I also have a message for all these all, all repentant demons that have been sucking our blood, spilling our blood on their on, on, their, on the altar of, of grief. They have been spilling our blood every now and then for political power, for political recognition. And it has never for one day eat any good fruit in our life. But subjugate us to the essence that we have no more confidence in ourselves. But we thank God for IPOB. And IPOB has came and he has changed the narrative. We realize whom we are now. And of course, we are going to take it either by force and or by fire. This is the message I have before we drop the mic. For those of them who have, who have made themselves a demonic fit machine in our life. If you don't get the way easy, we will force you. you will, in fact, we will put you in your sins. Since we not only you, both you, both your children. And anybody we know, we know we, in fact, any of your relatives, they are going down for this. And they will not, we will not show mercy. Because you have been tormenting our life. Over 50 years, over 50 years, you have been tormenting our life. And still, you don't want to repent. You see all those rubbish when I go to vomit fast or not. Now they in. Let them bring referendum. We don't ask for much. Give us referendum. Let us decide our future. Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. You near. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, uh, our brothers, please, please give your contribution. Thank you, Najiti, for that uh, uh, wonderful contribution. Go ahead, brother. I think you've not introduced yourself. Introduce yourself so that the viewers may know you and then make your contribution Thank as you. regards the topic. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm Mr. Kingsley Ohaka from Iguacha. You can correct to be precise. Uh, yes. The, this issue uh, is something that we have to. Uh, discuss about and uh, harmonize it because uh, these are our political uh, leaders they have been using us to 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 drink in Asarov and knowing that uh, we are this era of uh, youth now are not those ancient people that have been uh, uh, compromising their struggle we are very intellectual people. We are very talented people. We are very brilliant people. IPOB, we are very wise to, to be intimidated. Uh, I, I see our political elite as, uh, as people who, who are drunkards. They drink so much and they, they use the blood of their, their citizens to, to drink. You can imagine how many people that died in, uh, during the Afra war. Even in Asaba, Asaba massacre, is a notable evidence to prove to this our Niger Delta people that we are we are we are we are fools. Only that Asaba massacre would have even triggered this uh, our region, our Kosa region, to fight for this Biafra more than the Igbos. And the idea discussing about five states in, in Biafra. Is it not is that not a let down to our to our to our country Biafra? It's a hard time for us to begin to tell this Pitaja Data uh, Commission. They have spoiled it, they have destroyed it, they have who stolen everything about it, thinking that uh, Biafra would be like that. We are not that kind of people, and we are wise enough to understand the handwriting on the wall. All these, our elites, both Edwin Clark and other people, we are putting them on notice, telling them that it's either they give us a referendum or what happened in Imo State and the other part of 
uh, Igbos who, who happen in, in Niger Delta. According to them, the way they said they, they belong to Niger Delta. We are not relenting. We will fight until the Niger Delta 1967, where they just uh, kill all of us and they, 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 they tell us lies and they begin to compromise our struggle because they want to betray Biafra. This is not that time. We have known all their secrets. And uh, in so doing, we cannot back down. We cannot back down. Because our Igbo brothers who are on the forefront of this battle today, they are no more, more, more Biafran than us. Only that we, our people, they are very selfish to understand that uh, the, the, the only way we can be, 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 have our freedom is for us to embrace Biafra. You can see the Ogonis, they need freedom. You can see many parts of uh, the coastal region, they need Biafra, but they don't know how to fight for the, for the, for the, for the freedom. They don't know how to fight for it. And the day of the, of the uh, remember, the instruction giving the government to not to comply. Many people comply. They know the truth. Everybody knows the truth. What is their problem? The Biafra, the issue of Biafra has been existing before Nigeria came to existence. Biafra has been existing over 5,000 years ago. And the, the, Nigeria was just recently born by an order. Frank Opigo was a, 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 an Igu, an, from Igu Ocha. He named, he brought this name and he, he brought it to Ojuku and told him that, look at this is our real name. Niger Delta is not a name of any, any region in, in, in his own. It's not a name in any region in, in, in the Igbo Chan or anywhere. Biafra is our original name. Why is it that they are finally very difficult to stand by their grandfathers and their ancestors to fight for their freedom? All, all they know is to separate it. They want to split. They want they don't know that uh, the 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 uh, Fulanese they want, want to prepare uh, uh, the uh, the Korean in the sea. It is only the, the, yes. Thank you very much. It looks like your network is disturbing. I don't know. Are them if, if, from getting to the sea. Uh, go ahead. They want to eat yeah, I'm sorry. I think your network was off. disturbing. Yes, and we can't hear you properly. And then your time, please. Finish, finish your, the hand conclude, right your, on conclude your contribution, sir. Some people that they are order. And there is no hard from the Igbo. That is the only truth. And they need to use politics to destroy our business. And we feed them. To spread our spirit high. To be better have us their statement. And we clock. And the clock is that when it comes, you will left. Yes, thank you. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for that contribution. You see, if you all of you are listening, you will understand that. These comrades talking to you today are all from that place the zoo called Nigerian decide to call Niger Delta and South South. And then look at them, tell you their experience as members of this struggle to restore, to restore Biafra. Look at them as tell you what they have expressed individually and as a people, as, as, uh, as a community of people. Now, some of them who argue that this place they call Niger Delta or South South uh, is not Biafra. If you ask them who they are, they will say, we are Niger Deltas. 
If you ask them again, they will tell you that they are Southwesterners. If you even talk, they will tell you they are Pende. All these things they are telling you, if you investigate it, you will see that they got this mentality from colonialism, just like the Nigerian constitution was borrowed from colonial constitution up to today. So I'm coming to that anyway. So these people who identify as Ninja Delta, who identify as uh, South South, if you try to investigate more, where they will end is that we are British protectorates. The highest they will end, where they will take their argument to a point of standstill, is that they are British protectorates before they became Nigerians. Now, ask them before you become a British protectorate, which means a protected person by the British. What happened? The political leader, or who were you? Or who were, how, how can we describe your people? What did the word, uh, or how did the word describe that parcel of land where you occupy? The uh, historical evidence showed that Biafra was there in the world map before Nigeria was created. And that in fact, that those waters that they call the Nanja Delta water today or uh, Bright of Bono was in fact called the Bright of Biafra. And that in fact, Nana of Ishekiri and uh, the Oba of Bini and all other prominent chiefs who were the political leaders of the land the British came to say they were coming to protect were killed. Why were they killed? And after they were killed, who replaced them? These are the two questions we are going to look at to try to educate these people to know who they are. Now, before the British came and made you a protectorate, even before you became a Nigeria, there was Biafra in the map of the world. And then that place you own and below, you lived, your, fa your fathers lived, was called Biafra land. And then there were political held, uh, leaders before that time, before the British came and said they were going to protect you. So they were political leaders. What happened to them? They were all killed. By who? By the British who said they were coming to protect you. How can somebody who is coming to protect you kill your political leaders? And after they killed them, what did they do? They killed Nana of Shekiri, they killed the Abba of Bini, they went to interland, and any king that did not that opposes their colonial rule was killed. Then what happened? They installed for us leaders. Those are the people you are calling leaders today. This is why they will tell you that they are Nigerians. This is why they will tell you they are Niger Delta. This is why they will tell you they are South South, because they are creator and those they are working for told them that this is their name. And so they will come and claim, they will go and meet the ginger weed, which is Fulani. Uh, the impostor in Asorok said they went to meet him. Those ones who were now called Warren chiefs to handle the administration on behalf of the British. They were called what? Warren chief. These are the People you are calling political leaders today, people who say, who are saying, people like uh, Omar Gege, if this is the era of colonialism, he's a warrant chief. People like the governor of Delta State, uh, Okowa, if this is the colonial period, he is a warrant chief. So, warrant chief, what was their duty? What were they doing? They were working for the colonialists who came and killed our political leaders. So, can those people give me a name? Can those people speak for me? Thank you, no, my they brother. Will speak for, the, for their leaders. They will speak for those they are working for. Today they have children. Today they have they have they have uh, not just children, they have people who they have brainwashed, conditioned into thinking that they are Niger debtors and they are South South. And those people are the people why we are asking for referendum. If not, we'll, we'll battle it with them. Because they killed our people to get that position they have today. We will kill them too to get our, our land back. It's as simple as that. But because we are civil, we are civilized, we are matured, we are offshoring for what? Referendum. This is what all of you here who are from the so-called Nigeria that are calling for. Referendum. Just like one of those who are in the zoo, uh, National Assembly, is asking his fellow uh, monkeys and baboos in the National Assembly, why are you people afraid of referendum? Why would the Fuda Fulani claim that those who are asking for referendum are asking for war. And in fact, some so-called Niger Delta youth, because by now everybody must have understand that anybody that calls himself a Niger Delta is uh, suffering from colonial mentality and moreover has been brainwashed to think so. We are all Biafrans. We are all Biafrans. And all we are asking for is referendum. Thank you. So yet, what do we get? What do we get for doing that? 
before the war, let us talk about the killings. Before the war, or I mean, during before the war, we were killed to make Nigeria. Our fathers were killed. Even before they got to Interland, they had to finish our fathers in the coastal region. Our strong political leaders, our, our, uh, uh, the, the, before then we had the Bini Kingdom that was expanding in all ramifications. Not without the help of the Sokos, not without the help of the Rubus, not without the help of the Jaws, even up to the Igbos in the Interland that made the Bini Kingdom to expand even up to Portugal and have a blessing in Portugal. Because we realize that the Bini Kingdom is our neighbor. Even though we don't practice monarchy, we respected that kingdom as our neighbor. We fought with them against external aggression. As an Indoqua man, I can say that beating my heart in my chest. Because that was how Ikumeku was formed. Thank you, Monreto. The resistance against colonialism. So, uh, yeah, we have our sister who just joined us. I would like her to, to give introduce herself and uh, give us uh, our thoughts about the topic, please. Thank you. Our sister, please. Our sister just joined us. Uh, sister uh, Ife Omote Biafra, please. Unmute, unmute. If you please unmute and introduce yourself for our viewer's sake and then make your contribution. If you unmute your device, thank you. Are you frozen? <laughs> if they... Olisa, unmute, unmute, Olisa. Yeah, I was going to say that the, I don't think our sister can hear I think she can hear us now. If she can hear us now, she cannot unmute herself, introduce herself for the sake of our viewers, and then make a contribution on the topic. I think um, Omote is having a uh, network problem. I think um, if no, you we... can hear us, Omote, you should try and unmute yourself. If you can hear us, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Okay, I think um, she uh, we lost her. So maybe she'll be back um, as soon as possible. So I would rather say we should just go straight to the next topic than um, as we are doing so, she'll be meeting us on the way. Out. Talking about the next topic, we are going to discuss because we have been able to prove our point that we are Biafrans. Whatever they decide, they should call us, but we will say who we are. We are Biafrans. And then we have, as a, as a, as collectively as a team and as the people they call the Niger that we have demanded for referendum. Now, I want us to talk a little as IBOB family members in our various uh, areas uh, where we reside uh, and uh, in Biafra land. I want us to talk a little about the current IBOB Biafra restoration project, how it looks like. I know that IBOB have made public the Biafra uh, organogram, the Biafra, uh, Biafra organogram that shows on how Biafra is going to look like when Biafra is restored, how the government is going to be. Every nationality will be free. In fact, not just free, they will also have a constitutional right to decide to be on their own, and they will be given the right to do so. So that means that the robo man, the robo will be for the robo people in Biafra. Uh, uh, Okwane will be for the Okwane people in Biafra. Eka will be for the Ka people in Biafra. Uh, just like Ijo will be for the Jo people. But we will all be who we are, Biafrans. We will all support the federal United States of Biafra so that we can, uh, we can be able to ward off external enemies and then check internal corrupt enemies, uh, put them in check. That is why we must make a united Biafra very strong, like IBOB worldwide is, even stronger than it when, when, when Biafra is restored. So I'm going to be asking you people to talk, to say your, your thoughts and experience as being an IBOB family member. Have you been feeling uh, uh, marginalized or have you, as an IBOB family member from the coast? Because sometimes our people in the coast will say, ah, I, we have been marginalized by Fulani. We don't want to be marginalized by the Igbozo because they are majority. Forgetting that nobody can be a, a minority in his own father's land. 
Forgetting that the 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 Biafra that IBOB led by Miles Mandekane is restoring is the Biafra that will give you total freedom. Not even the kind of freedom you are fighting for in Nigeria, which is the resource control freedom. Because it will give you total freedom that will include resource control. That resource control is a general ingredient of. So I want us to briefly, quickly too, because we are, our time is fast spent, uh, just to use two, two minutes to please talk about your experience as an IBOB family member. Because most of us, like in Indoqua people, there are Indoqua people who are in IBOB family in the, in north, in the north. They are in IBOB family overseas. They are in IBOB family, even in Isoko where they live. Some of them are living in Lagos. They are in IBOB family. But they are from Ondokwa, but they represent what we are fighting for, which is the liberation of Ondokwa nation through this global phenomenon called IBOB. So our sister is back. Let us give her the chance to speak first. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. I'm very sorry. My network they, uh, give me small challenge. So as I don't uh, as, as I don't actually talk and before I saved my brothers my comrades for the house they don't already speak everything and they don't already talk everything and they speak the minds of uh, uh, thousands and millions of uh, Yafras as in from the coastal region. Uh, in addition to that, my people, when I not say um, in as far as I'm consigned and every other Biafrans we did for this house, our listener and our viewers are consigned. We only get the as in we only get. Purpose and reason will be say every one of us they start this agitation when we did today. So and right from the beginning, when I take join this struggle and when I take know everything about this struggle, the thing when I, I get to understand about this struggle when we did so now we say we demand for referendum. Mm -hmm. Even from the beginning, they never get the time when we say we take demand, say we won't go for war and by force, now we say we won't take come up for this uh contrast or corner Nigeria. But as it as it sits today now, they're not gonna give us any other option that to that to do everything possible to make sure say we come up for this contract of fun and leader because you get the world way to say the children of those are violent and only the violent one I think and by force. Recently, my people who they see on social media where the Nigerian government, the so-called president imposter himself, they come and say they talk saying I saw you meet with some individuals in that place, and then for that reason, in they call on the Igbos uh, to, to come out for the to take five states or in the call on IPOB to take five states and leave every other uh, people alone. What I get to tell these people, they say this era not be the era of 1967 or the era of uh, uh, the when they, they bring the amalgamation together in the 1914. When we say they not consult anybody, they not ask for anybody opinion. They just they just call you 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 wanna come together, wanna become Nigeria. This era when we do so we do for 21 century. When we say every every indigenous people as in uh, they need to consult every indigenous people. For them to make sure, say, now them no want Biafra or now they no want Nigeria. The, uh, the option left for the people for them to decide, which is going through referendum. Today, would they let everybody from the coastal region or for the uh, eternal land of, of Biafra land, everyone of us to know, say, in as far as you are a politician or you are a warrant chief or you are a traditional, traditional ruler, we never elect any of them now. Or a group of people you call yourself UP, UPU, uh, UPU, Robo Progressive Union, or you call yourself uh, UDU, uh, Undokwa Development uh, Union. We not elect anybody. Or you be I IYC. We not elect anybody. Even at in Pandef, with the generation of this youth, we did not elect anybody. The only person where we elect as our representative is Mazina the Canon, the Olorogun one. When you come make me with the and they feel they no say I'm being marginalized. Every one of us when they come no say we they marginalized. Now he be the only leader when we say we elect an IPOB. So I they let the zoo government to know this very afternoon say as I as all of us today so we they of different different tribe. I don't believe say we get to Urubu Pesi Urubu Biafra uh, for yet. All of us they of different different tribe. And if they, they talk about Say now, so they go consult people. They go consult uh, some individuals in that place. And they talk to them, they say, and, and let them take, let it go take Biafra and leave coastal region for us. We are the people agitating. Now we be the people where they agitate. Those people where they go call these are people where they don't know to be one Nigerianists. People where they don't know say they be um, um, willing to. People where they don't know to be their agent. When they do the, when they make their work there uh, smoothly for them to they enter us the more. We, we now the agitators when they for forefront now then be the people when we say if they speak on behalf of the people we don't elect any individual and there is no 
amount of confusion or amount of talk to, to, to demoralize us when it comes to this affair of Biafra, we go, we go make us as in they demoralize. Because we only have one thing where every one of us they champion from. If you say Urobo people are not Biafra, or Isoko, or Ishakiri, or Ijo, or Okwane, we are not Biafra. Conduct a referendum. We not talk say, may you come aside. Because you cannot, you, you, this people individually, this Nigerian government, who is, when the letter they know say, uh, Igbo, I uh, have been once, uh, we get Biafra and all those things. When we go to check on our history, we will not, be, we will not even get a social land to our for Nigeria. And I never see where foreigners go, they tell indigenous people say, this is where you belong, this is where you not go belong. And they let them know every day. I say, in everywhere in the world, even at our, uh, uh, America, UK, France, Italy, anywhere you day in the world, the, 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 the concept of the people they consulted before they feel bring that, uh, uh, they feel bring, they feel big, they feel form that nation. So we see the right up when our Supreme Leader Mazin and Una the Kanu right, and I call for a concern for us. We not say that just uh, a throat or see no. The, the mindset or how our people, they feel about uh, this uh, uh, Biafra struggle. And when you go to the comment sector, it tell you it tell you all you need to know. All those individuals, what they see for that place, when they come outside, they talk, say, the way you are fighting this Biafra, is that how you will get it? They know they ask the Nigerian government, the full and the terrorists, when they kill everybody, they make this agitator, they, they put up, they, they, they get flame on daily basis. They know they ask, they say, now, now, like this, I want to keep this Nigeria by killing other your other fellow Nigerians like Una. They not go seek their, the, the, they they not go get the courage or the mind to go ask these people because I don't get to understand. Say my people, they only they get power when they see their fellow brother, their fellow Isoko brother, their fellow Ijo brother, their fellow Urobo uh, brother. But when they let them know this very afternoon, say we only get one mission. We make every one of us come together for this place. Now be the mission of referendum. If you are an Urobo and you don't eat and then and then and wine with our enemy, which is the Nigerian government, you are no more to you are no more Urobo than me. To call the speak on behalf of me, let them conduct a referendum to put all this problem to to rest once and for all. Now waiting with the people who come from the coastal region. When they agitate for this struggle, not only referendum, then we say we go fit it, uh, uh, no say, okay, now our people die not vote to join the Afra before we go there satisfy. Anything less, anything rather than that, we will not accept it today, we will not accept it tomorrow, I will not go accept it forever and ever. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sister Efe. Thank you, our amiable sister. You see. These things, they very, very open for everybody to see. So we they move to the second topic, which is IBOB led by Mazin Nandekano. So I want our, our, our brothers from the coastal region now to talk their experience and the, 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 what they know, why they joined the struggle for, with IBOB, why did they do the struggle with IBOB. I want them to tell the world their experience as IBOB family members, because I know, say, most especially our people where they're home, their experience now die, die, they, they kill them. Like in Delta State, the, uh, John Chukuma is the coordinator of IBOB family, the, the entire Delta State. He's from Ukwane. He has his uh, executive members uh, from different regions in that, the place IBOB called Delta State, like Isoko, Urobo, Ijo. All are members with him as IBOB family members in Delta State, principal officers. Do you know that they were arrested, both Ijo boys, uh, the Ijo men? Because these are men, these are mature men with family. They were arrested. Some of them have been killed. Those who are still in detention are not kept in a prison custody because the zoo called Nigeria would like to kill them. They like to have them in their hands. They can use them to do what, make them to pass through all sorts of degrading and inhuman treatment. So today, I want you people to tell us, tell the world your experience. Now, I'm asking those ones who are saying they are not Biafrans, but they are from Niger Delta. All these, your Niger Delta brother, where Fulani, led Nigeria they kill for your own presence. What will you call them? What what will Fulani do to you after they have killed that your brother because in talk say him na Biafra? What would the Fulani do to you? So why these useless Niger Detans and South South people they, they answer that question? I want our guests then here to talk about their experience as IBOB family members. If they are because some of these our zoo brothers where they 
fellowship with zoo where they work with zoo people they go say hey we will be marginalized we don't want to be afraid where people will marginalize us so i'm asking you are you people being marginalized as IBOB family members today what made you to join IBOB? You. what is your what is your so this is what we are going to be discussing all Biafra. thank you very much <clears throat> as an ipob member you know um although I will speak for my own side, no um, Igbo speaking, um, Igbake and Agbo. Uh, I feel home because um, I feel very close to my my people because I was being divided due to lack of history in our ed basic education in Nigeria because uh, they make you to hate your brother and decide them they divide you to you are not accepted like in you go to Edo state you will see the Igbo speaking region from the abudu the whole of abuda Igbo speaking region down to igbake they are minority nobody knew them nobody know them in power they don't they, don't, they have never ruled they have never been any big political organization uh, political office there they are they separate them from their family which is the car people and uh, make them to be a minority in somewhere and they are not fit to you understand so what our leader did as um Mazina the Kalum, it make us even to have a strong bone even to remove this spirit of marginalization out of us even now i can see a bini person and uh, I embrace him that he is my cl uh, close uh, cousin because um, I I know what is going on in those state. Like as I can speak to you, I called yesterday, uh, today before we start the program, and uh, uh, those state was beneath city itself is booming since yesterday, even to today. Boys are not smiling. You understand? Boys feel even in their own place they are being marginalized. You, know? you are being marginalized. Lack of uh, basic education. But lack of um, water, lack of um, uh, um, good road. What kind of marginalization is that? And uh, if you, Ubu, in your own place, your name is not Mohammed, you cannot even get a good job. You know what is going on now in the whole entire Nigeria? Graduates are graduating every. You see the reason why Buhari said that he want to start putting youth copper into the military? Because he knew he has shut up the job every year. There is no job everywhere for any youth. You will be marginalized in your own place. So, which kind of marginalization you. you are talking? You are you are you are you are saying you are being marginalized in, in, as an IPOB member that is trying to unite you. That the one the Nigeria government itself is giving to you. The Nigeria government has made it difficult. Even your own government start marginalizing you. Your own, the so-called person you put in power in a dust. I'm talking of a dust state. Go and go to a do state. Okay. If you go to the banks in a do state, you will not see one beneath person working in the bank. You will see Yoruba people in the old bank in a do state. Go to the big company in a do state. You will not see one beneath person. Is, I'm talking you of are even to have a bank. Thank you. Thank you, you, you very much for your question. They are not working yeah. there. So you have been marginalized in your own place. You understand? So what IPOB is trying to do, so say you will be in your own region, control your own resources, and Thank make you. life better for yourself. So I feel very embraced, and the way they are killing our brothers and sisters. Yes, Nigeria, there is not, it's a dictatorship country, right from the, creator, the creation. So our people are be lack of, um, um, freedom of speech. When you speak, they kill you. Ah, are you telling me to come out to, to join that kind of nation? I cannot be part of you. Where everybody will be equal, everybody have the right to speak. This is where I'm looking for. And Biafra will give me that kind of opportunity and platform. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Son of IBOB, please give us a contribution. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my brothers and sister. You know, I, I really appreciate everybody this evening, you know coming together as one, we mean one family, you know what I mean? You know, you know, our leader have taught us many things for us to know. When, back, back in the days when I was going to secondary school, they never taught me, they never taught me anything called history. Though I know history from my father, from my relative, but 
in school. They never taught me what is called history. But my father have already uh, my father always told me what history is all about. You know what I mean? As an IPOB member, I'm, I will never regret, you know what I mean? You know, we are we are formidable, we are unbribable, you know what I mean? You know, so what my brother here have been saying that uh, in in the uh, in the zoo contraction called Nigeria. My brother, if you like, go to any school in, in the zoo. You will never achieve what you what is what is was in what is your goal. You will never achieve any. You know what I mean? Like what our sister said here, yeah, referendum will be the only solution to our struggle. You know what I mean? So, uh, 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 referendum is is, is uh, something like it's like what the people choose. You know what I mean? Like now, if you want to be in Nigeria, you can be in Nigeria. If you want to be in the Biafra, you can be in Biafra. You know what I mean? So what I know that, to me, I know that when referendum come, you see these people you, we, which we are, we, which, we, which are condemning themselves, doing their rubbish, doing that. Uh, what is this? What is it? When referendum come, my brother, they will be the first person to be in Biafra land. Do you know why? Because referendum will determine who is who and who who want who want the best as who want his future to be bright. You know what I mean? So. Person like me, me and my generation, me and my family. Could you imagine if referendum come? My father, my mother cannot tell me who to choose. It's just an example. I'm just giving you for you to know what I want. When referendum come, Nigeria or Biafra, my brother, you don't need to tell me where to hold when you know that uh, Biafra is the is the is the way of life. You know what I mean? Thank so I just want you, to thank everybody here for being here. We are one family. You know, I just want to thank everybody here. Like what, like uh, what our leader be saying that referendum would decide. You know what I mean? Like, like if you watch what our leader said in last book, he said, if referendum come, the people said they want Nigeria. So be it. No problem. It's not arguing. But when referendum before come, you, before you want, finish, before want, you finish. Yeah, Yes, brother. Uh, before you finish, can you talk a little bit about your experience as an IBOB family member where you are? Oh, like, have you been marginalized? Have you been treated like you are? My like brother, you have been treated my brother, Nigeria? my brother. I know. I'm coming to that. I know, my brother. Since I become an IPOB member from birth, I'm IPOB member from birth because I'm a Biafran from birth. When I'm when I was in my mother's womb, I'm an, I'm a, I'm an IPOB member. I've never been marginalized. You know what I mean? You understand? I'm an IPOB member. The uh, it is the only the zoo who are who are who, who, who are the one killing our people. You know what I mean? As an IPOB member, we are happy family. You know what I mean? We are we are fighting a just cause to restore Biafra. You know what I mean? Thank you. So, Thank you. where people are telling you that uh, they are marginalized, no, nobody. You can you can see this useless uh, impostor from Thank Sahel because Bu Buari is dead since 2017, yes. January. Thank you very much. You know much. what I mean? Yes. Buari is dead. It yes. is in in it is in a uh, shadow grave in a uh, grave in Saudi Arabia. You know what? I, he came out to to uh, the the one who. Who is a parading himself as a as a Buari who, whatever they may call him, say that uh, this and this that my brother to me to you and everybody and I be Buari is dead. Nobody is in Asorok. It is Gabashe who, who is leading the mission. You know what I mean? Of, so of yeah, thank brother, you, thank you. Let us because of our time. What I'm saying that uh, we are happy Obi. We we you know Biafra must be restored. All here Biafra Muchineke. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Please, can we have another comrade, please, to give us this? Yeah. Onajite, uh, please go ahead. Yes. Okay, Dudu. Dudu, Vemuno, please unmute yourself and give us your con your contribution as regard the topic. Are you, fr you from uh, Costa Region, what is... What is your experience as an IBOP family member? Because some of our people will say, I don't want to live full and new because I think Igbo will marginalize me as if Igbo have marginalized him before. Some of them will tell you that my experience with one Igbo person 
you know, and tell me that uh, Igbo people will marginalize me. But your experience with all the Fulani men cutting the head of your family members in the bush, preventing you from going to farm, have not made you to run away. So tell us your experience with IBOB, brother. Tell us your experience. Or you be afraid. Lad your speaker. Oh, you are mute. We are not hearing you, my brother. Um, we can hear you. I think you. Have we can hear you. I think, I think you have to go out and come in again. So, um, let me just take the floor. Then, when you come back, okay, uh, yes, you can take over from me. Um, you okay, know, go ahead. it is a very, it is a very concerning thing. That you actually raise this issue, you know, some some of our people, they don't really have the idea of um, how IPOB works and how you know we roll over there. Um, you do, do should I come out? Are you coming in? Okay, uh, is yeah, your mic well, open? Are you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can go. Ahead. Yes, we can hear you. Welcome back. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for those interaction with my I don't know my device. Uh, I was just looking, you know, I thought of Najite was next online to talk, so that's why. Anyway, so, so talking sorry, about... Before you continue, Najite, please publish the number to call, because after now we can take we can take calls. Thank you. Okay. So, talking about uh, marginalization, you know, and first of all, you ask a question, if we are being marginalized, you know, I will ask you how, by who? By who? You know, the question has to be true back to individuals who are watching and those who call themselves Nigerians. If Igbo even have, you know, this is how it is. Igbo will marginalize, marginalize us. Igbo will marginalize us. It starts by body languages and all that. In your entire life of living in a contractual called Nigeria, has Igbo marginalized you in any way? What is marginalization, in, by the way? Oh, you know, we are minority. These local people, we are minority. The Nigeria is marginalizing us. And uh, now, if it will become Biafra now, sorry, people will marginalize sorry, us. Sorry, I think I need to interrupt. Yeah, sorry uh, for, for the interruption. So, uh, although, um, I think our time is um, like up here because of the schedule of the program. We have only 15 minutes for the next um, program. I don't know, maybe the moderator can permit us, you know, to leave it for here, to leave it here for now, so that um, we can quickly prepare for the next um, program. I don't know, maybe. Um, yes, I like, uh, yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like to finish. Uh, I would like our sister Omote to also prepare to give we, us a blank. We, sorry, we have, we have just about two minutes to leave. Seven. Yeah, so we let, have me about just, let me just finish. Just close it. Oh. Do, just oh, it's, close not, it. it's not up to six minutes anymore. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Do, do. So, uh, let me just round it up here. We, see, we don't have time. Um, I will say it is out of foolishness to even talk about Igbo we marginalize you. It's not by minority. Oh. They're saying by minority. I've been mean, by majority. Full and they oppress everybody. So who are they? They are the one percent. So get your sense. Full and where they marginalize you, who are they? Are they the majority? No, they are the minority, 1%. So when people don't have anything to say, they begin to, yeah, hey, well, we marginalize us. They, they don't even understand the English marginalization. They are just talking because they hear somebody talk and they want to talk to foolish people. Every day. Has Igbo person drag land with you? Has Igbo people come to your farmland to kill you, rape you, take your land? Dra Has anybody encountered dragging land from, that is not an Igbo man, dragging land or boundary before? I don't understand. Has Igbo man come in to take your year well? Foolish people everywhere. Anyway, I, I will I will round up here. All here, Biafra. Thank you very much. Uh, Biafra, thank you. Biafra, we hey. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Donajite. Thank you very much, uh, my comrades. Thank you so much. Of course, um, we will be back. Uh, you know, these are very important issues that, um, of course, we really need to touch. And, you know, um, we are not trying to kill the taste of our viewers. But, of course, we are also coming back. Uh, in the next 15 minutes, we'll be back. And um, we'll be back with uh, the person of um, Sir Philip Effion Jr. And um, with our amiable mother. Of course, um, with some of our comrades there who are going to be anchoring the program with um, those names I just called. So I will advise us to just stay tuned. In the next 15 minutes, we will be back. 
and you can as well those of us who are supposed to call now who are, who are we are unable to do so we should also prepare a question of course um sir philip avion jr will be here in a moment soon so thank you very much of course stay tuned we will be back bye for now we'll be, we'll yeah, thank be right you very back. much and stay tuned for the next program we'll be back guys thank you and thank you for uh, speaking all